Today I try Galaxy Explorer with Microsoft HoloLens device. Galaxy Explorer is an application for HoloLens, a mixed reality application that lets you try an exploration of the galaxy. You can see several planets and nebulas and you can have information about everything you see. It's quite useful for education and also for a personal interest, I think. So if you have a HoloLens, I think you should try to download it and give it a try. The Milky Way galaxy is made up of hundreds of billions of stars and solar systems. You can learn and explore by looking around and selecting things that interest you. The Crab Nebula is the remains of a supernova which was recorded by Chinese astronomers in the year 1054. The nebula itself was later observed by the English astronomer John Bevis in 1731. The central structure of our Milky Way galaxy. One of the most intriguing structures of the center of our galaxy is known as Sagittarius A star. Sagittarius A star is a bright, compact, astronomical radio source and is thought to be the location of a supermassive black hole, like those that are now generally accepted to be at the centers of most spiral and elliptical galaxies. Observation. Homunculus, literally little man in Latin, is a fitting name for this nebula which is embedded in the much larger Carina Nebula. An alternate name, the Red Spade Beard, failed to gain much traction. Our solar system. This familiar representation of our solar system simplifies sizes and distances so that the sun and all of the planets can be easily seen at once. Click the view button above the sun to toggle between this and a more realistic view. At about 4.6 billion years old, the sun is an enormous ball of hot plasma, more than 100 times the size of Earth. About 5 billion years from now, the sun will transform into a red giant and expand to engulf Mercury, Venus, and possibly the Earth. Mars is slightly more than half the size of Earth with a very thin atmosphere. While today no liquid water is present on the surface, geological features suggest that it once had large-scale bodies of water. At the poles, you can see dry ice caps. Those aren't water, but rather frozen CO2.